Hey guys, so it's day three and actually my last day of New York Fashion Week. I look a little crazy right now, a little drained because I woke up this morning to some really sad news that my grandfather passed away of his two year battle with cancer. It's bittersweet because I'm content because I know he's in a better place, but you know, obviously I love him a lot. So um, I still have a full day, so it's time to go. So anyways guys, it was a weird morning and of course, not really the way that I wanted to start off my day or any day, obviously, um, but it's okay, it's okay. Um, I think that once you've seen somebody suffering for so long, it's almost a relief when they don't have to do that anymore, so, yeah, Grandpa, I love you, and I always will. New subject. Um, now I'm headed to Maybelline is doing a lounge, and they're taking, like, really cool photos of beauty influencers and everybody that I look up to and love to follow, um, and I'm going to that with Deepika and hopefully getting some really cool photos and trying on some really pretty makeup. Then, oh God, what is this my hair? This is like just a description of how my day is so far. I hope it's out. I can't really, I don't know, it's still there. Okay, fuck it, we're just gonna go with it. Lost my train of thought. I'm like in a daze today. Um, yeah, so Maybelline. I'm excited for Maybelline and I'm gonna take some cool photos then heading to uh, back to Fashion Week to the e-lounge because I have another show with them today for Dion Lee which I'm excited about and um, you know just gonna push through the day enjoy the day because that's what my grandpa want me to do so that's what I'm gonna do see you guys in the Maybelline lounge Taking over Cammy's snap to show you the BTS of her shoot. She's gonna nail it so quick because she's a profesh. <laughs> she's so pretty. Yeah, I love the color in her. I love the color in her. Yeah. She's just yeah. so hot. <laughs> work, work, work. Yeah, I love the Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Is this a First of all, you guys, this is the magician. He's gonna give me an order. <laughs> okay, guys, we made it. We made it. We made it to Neon Lee. The street style photographers were going off because obviously Cammy's that like really cool. No, no, no. It was pretty nice. Really. It was pretty nice. Also, this glow is not a glow. It's actually sweat. It's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot in here. It's so hot. Everybody's hot. She's fanning. I'm fanning. It's, it's hot. Like, it's hot. It's hot. These lip colors, though. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Into matte nudes. Maybe she's born with it. I've always wanted to say maybe. that in, like, a commercial. <laughs> maybe it's photoshopped. We'll show you what the show is like. Oh, yeah. If we make it through. Are we vlogging? Literally. Hot. Yeah. Yeah. I know, girl. Okay, so the other day when I showed you guys Zuri Hall, she was recording from right here. So I'm like trying to feel all the E vibes right now. But this is where they've been filming for E News. There's Deeps. Hey. hey. <laughs> so yeah, that's like my fashion week, guys. I hope it wasn't boring. You think my fashion week was boring? I kind of did a lot. I did a lot. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed me vlogging through Fashion Week. Let me know if you want me to keep doing stuff like this. I definitely don't mind. And it's been fun. It's been easy. Be pop culture. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!
okay, so obviously I lied when I said that the e-lounge is my last thing of fashion week. Obviously. So I ended up going to the Jonathan Simkai after party, which was lit. Galantis performed and I knew a few songs even though, you know, house is not my music. And I just had a great time. Like I was out with my friend Deepika and we just went out on the town. We did a bunch of stuff. We um, did some amazing stuff with Maybelline this morning. We went to the Dion Lee show, we went to the e-lounge, we went to the Soho house for a while and had brunch and it was fun and we just enjoyed ourselves and I was able to get a lot of what I had earlier off my mind and now I'm able to kind of sit back and reflect and be thankful because you never know how much time you have and any amount of time that you have is always 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 even if it's not enough it's still time i don't know if y'all are religious but i myself am a christian and i feel that it would be a slap in the face to god for me to be ungrateful for having two extra years with somebody that i was told that i was going to have two weeks with for that i am so grateful i i can't even be i can't even be sad even though i want to be sad you know i'll probably be sad again um Right now, I just can't. I can't be sad, so gotta be thankful. All the stuff that I got to do today and for the past few days for Fashion Week, I feel so thankful and so blessed to be able to have this life. And even though I complain about waking up early or, you know, having to put makeup on, it's like, that shit gives a fuck. That's cool. I get to wake up every day and do what it is that I love to do and sometimes get paid for it. Um, anyway, so I hope that you guys enjoyed following me around this week and I know it was a lot kind of all crammed into one and I'm ending early and I'm sorry, but I gotta go to LA and get this money, girl. I'm like, book my flight and get me on a plane out of here because I'm trying to make some cash. I'm just, I'm glad that, you know, I was able to document this and even though some parts were heavy and some parts were light, just life just gotta keep going so i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you want to see more videos like this i will certainly be happy to oblige you and i gotta pack because i haven't done that i gotta fly to la in the morning gotta bathe my ass I take this makeup off and i'll catch you guys later